Now I'm testing the S8800 on the 40 meter band and lower side band and also the PL880. Let's listen to the 8800 yeah, first. I mean, I move around a little bit, but this is home right here. If you want to get me, this, this is, is a very best. strong yeah. um, station right now. Okay, you got to get to work, so I'm not going to tie you up. And let's see here what the uh, PL880 sounds like. Well, uh, we'll look for you in the near future, and I'll be interested in how your projects go, Glenn. You have a good day. It's okay. been enjoyable. KW4TO, this is K2YN. The other station's kind of buried in the noise. Let me move back over here quickly before they leave. See how he pops out on the 8800? And the uh, And he faded a little bit there, too. Okay, we'll be looking for you, Glenn. You hear okay, there's no question, though, that the S8800 is doing a better job on the 40-meter band in lower sideband than even the PL880. I didn't test the um, Sony with this. It, single sideband is not its strong suit. Uh, the PL880 um, outperforms it, I believe, most of the time on the single sideband. But really, this thing Three, but I didn't get the whole sounds call. great. Okay, I've got to run. And it's easier to operate than the PL880 on single sideband, I believe, just by a little bit. Um, audio sounds a little bit, uh, sounds better, of course, on the 880. But it also has a lower noise floor, and signals just seem to pop out. Pennsylvania, how you doing? Oh, pretty good. You, you're part of I'll put it back over here one more time. Oh, whoops, I turned it off. I do this all the time. And the fine tune is right here. It sounds a little wobbly when you move it around. It's very stable once you have yeah, it in position. Yeah, good. I like loops. I can't quite set one up here unless it was a 40 meter. And I ended up getting very good anyway, performance. Anyway, that's the Texan S8800 on the 40 meter band.